Right, the penultimate race of the day. Uh, second last race from Mlarko, the fourth from Mlarko today. A three mile two Hunter Chase, uh, Wisdom Alex Cherry, Rab Corbett Alex Cherry, Mech to Combat Martin Leiden, Tom Land Vale, Graham Clutterback, Ozak Daisy Vinnie Jerry, and Delaware City Bell Vinnie Jarrett. So the Coffee de London Hunters Chase. And away they go, quickly come to the first jump, and they're all over it well. So Wisdom, in between horses, the leader, but pulling hard. And on the outside, Mech to Combat has joined Tom and Vale. Uh, and now poking his horse between horses, Rab Cobert has actually gone up to lead them. So Rab Cobert, the leader, from one of these inside stable mate, Wisdom. Then comes uh, Mo Martin Leedham's Mech to Combat on the outside of Graham Clover's Tarmland Vale. And the two Vinnie Gerard horses at the back of the field, Ozek, Daisy and Tarmland Vale. That seems to be a normal thing for a Vinnie Gerard horse. A step mistake though by uh, Delaware City Bell. And it's dropped to the rear of the field. So the two Alex Jerry horses take them along. Rab, Cobert and Wisdom. Just denied in the last by a Martin Leedham horse. Ozek Daisy is back in third for Vinnie Gerard as they come to the next and a good jump by Rab Cobert on the outside of Stablemate Wisdom. Then comes Ozak Daisy for Vinnie Gerard. In between on the inside Tomlin Vale and the outside Mech to Combat and in, on those ones quarters is Delaway City Bell. They jump her next. Good jump by Rab Corbett in front. So Alex Cherry's Rab Corbett clear from Wisdom in second. Then comes Ozak Daisy. The grey horse on the inside is Tomlin Vale. Martin Needham is the red colours, yellow cap of Mac to Combat, and then Delaway City Bell at the back of the field. But it's only about six lengths off this leader, Rab Corbett. Alex Terry's Rab Corbett takes him along. Oh, and a terrible blunder by Stablemate. Wisdom and Wisdom is gone. So Wisdom the first to fall. Rab Corbett in front from Ozak Daisy in second. Then comes Delaway City Bell. They jump an X, and Rab Corbett is going really wide. He's about eight or nine lengths off the fence. Toki probably searching for better ground. And Rab Corbett clear, but travelling wide. From Ozek Daisy in second. Delaware City Bell is back in third. The two Vinnie Gerard horses. And then we have Graham Clutterbuck's uh, Tomlin Vale, the grey horse. Uh, for Mechtacom, but I made a blunder and has been pushed along. So Rab Corbett is almost here on the stand side. He's travelling extremely wide. Jockey obviously thinks that the going is better on this side as they pass the uh, winning post for the, uh, po the for this time, and they got two more circus to go as Rab Corbett leads from the two Vinnie Gerard horses. And Rab Corbett doesn't even jump the fence there. Um, he's gone extremely wide from Delaware City Well in second. Tomlin Vale is back in third. The Grey Horse Ozak Daisy is fourth. And there comes Mac to Combat at the back of the field. So I'm not sure if the horse just wants to go wide or if the jockey is happy to steer uh, such a wide course. And again, Rab Corbett jumps air in front from Yellowway City Bell and Ozak Daisy in second and third. They're going a much shorter course because Rab Corbett is losing lengths on the field going this wide. He's on the far. Uh, far off running rail and Rab Corbett still clear for Alex Cherry but it's gone extremely wide the whole way from Delaware City Bell and Ozak Daisy traveling a, a shorter course up the inside and Rab Corbett again not wanting to jump the fence jumping air again from the two green colored horses Delaware City Bell and Ozak Daisy then comes Tom and Vale the grey horse Rab Corbett jumping air again from Delaware City Bell and Ozak Daisy then comes Tomlin Vale, and at the back of the field is a Mac to Combat. So not sure what the jock is doing on Rab Corbett. He's gone really wide. Um, he's losing many lengths every time they turn, make a turn. And Rab Corbett jumps out slowly. And he's been joined up the inside by Delaware City Bell and Ozak Days. And really, truth, they haven't had to do much to join this Rab Corbett because he's gone so wide. He's on the far. Uh, running rail is <laughs> traveling an extremely wide course from Delaware City Bell and Ozek Daisy in second. Then comes Tomlin Vale, and now Rab Corbett has gone on the outside of the uh, fields. I think it's difficult to steer this Rab Corbett. Clear from Delaware City Bell and Ozek Daisy in second and third. They're followed by Tomlin Vale, and then comes Mech to Combat in last place. So Rab Corbett still going in the front. Uh, traveling wide from Delaware City Bell and Ozak Daisy. Then comes Tomlin Vale. 
and at the back of the field is Mech to Combat. So Rab Corbett, still the leader for Alex Cherry, with seven furlongs left to travel and one circuit to go from the two Vinnie Gerald horses, Delaware City Bell and Ozak Daisy. A slow jump by Delaware City Bell, Tomlin Vale, the grey horse just behind these, and then comes Mech to Combat for Martin Leadham. So traveling so wide uh, probably is going to affect Rab Corp, but you, you can't go the whole course wide and expect not to uh, not feature the uh, feature at the end because he's traveling extremely wide now. Rab Corbett being joined for the lead by Delaware City Bell and also Martin Leadham's Mech to Combat up the inside. And now Mech to Combat has come from last to first and Mech to Combat goes to pick it up. So Mech to Combat from uh, Tyreen Rab Corbett. Then comes Ozak Daisy and Delaware City Bell. Tomlin Vale's trying to run on. Mech to Combat has gone to the front and quickly gone five, six lengths clear from Rab Corbett is still there. Tomlin Vale's moved up into second. They're followed by Ozak Daisy and then Delaware City Bell. But Martin Needham's Mech to Combat is clear now in this hunt to chase from Tomlin Vale in second. Here comes Ozak Daisy for Vinny Gerald. Mech to Combat, who came from last to first, is traveling well in front. Mech to Combat from Ozak Daisy. And then comes Rab Corbett, who's still there about, uh, but extremely wide and it's not going to feature. It's Mech to Combat for Martin Needham from Tomlin Vale. Then comes uh, Ozak Daisy just ahead of that, but Mech to Combat in some still with a further left to travel. And it's Mech to Combat as it jumps the next. Mech to Combat from Ozak Daisy in second. And Mech to Combat as they come to the last fence. Mech to Combat for Martin Leedham from last to first. Mech to Combat is going to win comfortably. Wins the Hunter Chase at Larkhill. Mech to Combat wins from Ozak Daisy in second. Rab Corbett who probably would have been much closer if he hadn't steered such a wide course back in third and Tom and Vale for, for Graham Clatter was his fourth and another winner for Martin Leadham with Mech to Combat who wins by about four lengths from Ozak Daisy in second Rab Corbett who ran extremely wide finished in third for Alex Cherry and really that horse probably could have been close to winning if it uh, Come on the inside. Tom and Bell was fourth for Graham Clatterback. Then came Delaware City Bell and Wisdom was the forwarder.